Well, I was working a job where I had to go off the job and go different places. And I was so self-conscious, I couldn't talk. Um, I do a lot of crying when I was home because it was painful. I mean, it was really painful because my pride was my hair, uh, my shoes. This is something that my mother told me. Okay. If your hair looks good, you look good. If you got the right kind of shoes on, you really look good. So, and it was, it really, I mean, I panicked. I panicked for about five years. Uh, I wore wigs, I wasn't happy with them. I got weave-ins, I wasn't happy. Um, and during the time, my husband said to me, uh, you must be going through something. I said, yeah, because I was very angry and evil. And my daughter was like, you know, this is not my mother. My hair was the thing that made me feel like I was somebody. I was so self-conscious and I didn't want to go anywhere. I had to speak in front of people and I didn't want to do it. So right about now is about the hardest time in my life, you know, because my, when I had my daughter, she say, when she was about 16, mom, you are so pretty, you know, and when you look at yourself in the mirror, you don't see pretty, you see, where does she come from? You see that? Hmm? <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I can't wait to get home so my children can see me. There are women out there like me. I've seen them, so I know what it is. Um, and they need to know that they can have a change and they can be beautiful. I um, didn't think it would happen for me. It was just by luck that I got it. And um, I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change it for the world. You know, I'm hoping that this will get out so that people could see how they could change their lives and change their face and all that. So it's a good thing. It really is. It's really a good thing. I am so happy. <laughs> you just wait. You might see me on television again. I'm telling you. <laughs>